Hello everyone, this is Broby one Kenobi, also known as Kyle, and I am back here playing some Black Ops 2, and this is the Uprising DLC, the third of four maps that I am going to be posting, and this map right here is, uh, oh god, I just drew a blank, uh, Magma, and this, um, don't remember which number gameplay, this is my third, probably about my third gameplay on this map, um, found that I played really well with this AN-94 all night so I was using this a lot and uh... yeah the, so magma I guess it's uh... it takes place in Japan near a volcano or something along those lines I don't really pay attention to the beginnings of the maps <laughs> um... but there's a lot of lava around as you can see or yeah, I guess it's called lava, right? I forget whether it's magma or lava when it's uh, out of the volcano. But anyway, not important. Um, magma. I actually kind of like this map. Um, it's fairly large, and uh, I don't know. I've, I've been playing pretty well on it so far, for the most part. I can't really complain. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. What else do I want to say about magma? Besides that there's a lot of lava pools all around. Um, someone had told me that like lava rises in this map. I have not seen that. So I'm going to say that that's a false rumor that I heard one point in time. But there is a lot of lava and if you walk into it you will burn alive. So there's that. Um, beyond that it's a... I don't know. It's a pretty good map. Um, I tend to stick to the outsides but it, you know you can go through the middle pretty well in this map too not too big of a deal um yeah uh, I don't know really what else I want to say about this map um besides that pretty much all the maps seem to be pretty friendly towards um assault rifles especially like I said the AN-94 had been working out really well for me all night long and uh recommend the attachments that I'm using here which is the suppressor the fast mag and the quick draw and I was running I think four perks in this gun with three attachments and that's all I'm running so pretty exciting use the AN-94 with lightweight um, and you will yeah it's a uh, it works very well when it's lightweight and uh, I don't know, you can move around really well uh, a lot of people like the stock attachment too for assault rifles you could switch quick draw for stock or switch fast mags for stock depending on you know what you like to do or whatever um, that's all your own preference. Uh, I enjoy the attachments that are on it. Uh, as views lightweight, I don't think you really need the stock. Um, I feel like with the stock, it makes me less accurate. And it's something I also noticed back in Modern Warfare 3. If I use Stalker after being used to using like Dead Silence or something else, I always um, like I always overcompensate because you get used to the slow movement when you're ADSing. So when you start moving quicker. It kind of throws your vibe off, you know what I mean? And, uh, but that's just my opinion of the stock attachment. You can do with it what you will. I don't know how I survived that right there. And, uh, yeah, I played pretty well this, uh, this game. I'm pretty sure I end up getting at least one load star. I think just one, but, uh, you know. Anywho, uh, I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit about, um, I know I mentioned this in a previous commentary, and I'm going to bring it up again here because I think it's an important topic that a lot of people don't really know about, and it's really one of the few tips and tricks I can kind of give out, um, and that's play, playing smart, basically. And essentially what I mean by that is, you know, Treyarch's maps especially, this is the case for, and I don't know how I died there. Um, but especially Treyarch maps, you will notice that the middle of the map, like B Domination and just the middle in general, tends to be a pretty big death trap. Like every place, like every aspect of the map kind of converges on that middle point, and uh, it, it can, tends to be kind of a clusterfuck, basically. And um, my recommendation basically is to just stay to the outside of the map. Um, pure and simple doesn't seem like a huge you know bit of advice but you'd be surprised how how much uh, it might help you if you just sit back and play around the outside 
around the outside. Um, <laughs> nah, but if you play around the outside, it's it does help. It, it definitely uh, it definitely helps me anyway. Um, I notice that when I play smart and play around the outsides of the map, I play a lot better, and I tend to be able to get my streaks. Um, you know, it, it's basically. I guess what it really boils down to, I keep saying basically, but what it really boils down to is the... Shit, I just had the word and now I lost it. Flanking. That's what it is. Like, you know, a lot of people will run down the middle of the map and they'll just run blindly down the middle of the map. If you can go in behind them, you can come in at their sides. You know, people don't pay attention to that and it definitely helps you be able to get some of these higher score streaks. If you're doing, you know, what you're supposed to do, you can play smart by playing around the outside of the map, and you can play smart by flanking the enemies and using silencers and hardline always helps to get the higher streaks. I can't tell you, like, I can't um, even imagine. Oh, excuse me, I have like a ton of burps. I can't even imagine like using uh, high streaks without using hardline. Uh, pretty much nine times out of ten, my good game plays like this, I have hardline as at least one of the first perks. Um, yeah, so it's basically how it is, and uh, it definitely helps to have pretty good teammates. Um, as you've noticed in like probably. Mm, I'd say about 80% of my gameplays here. I usually have at least Walshris, Swans, Ron Swanson, or Tim Kane, or any combination of the three. And the four of us together play very well, I think. Um, not to say that there's not other people that play well with us. If you actually, if you take the four of us, add balls into that mix, you it doesn't matter who our sixth teammate is, we'll probably always. I'm not going to say always win, because always win would be a bit of a stretch. But we'll always give a very good run at a win. We will never just lay down and lose. Um, obviously, nobody wants to lay down and lose. That's kind of a stupid statement for me to have just said there. But the five of us can pretty much carry a team, even against some of the better players that we've faced. Uh, you know, not always, of course, but... You know, we we do a pretty good job, I think, and um, this commentary is kind of all over the place. But yeah, playing smart and finding good teammates. I know a lot of people have hard times finding good teammates, and to those, good luck. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> um, yeah, that's just that's the way it is for me. And um, I don't know, don't know what else to say to that. Uh, yeah, so, if you can't get good teammates, oh yeah, watch that here. That's where I got really pissed, I forgot that I died while calling in my Vsat. Yeah, no, this gameplay I don't get a load star. I did get a load star on this map, uh, I guess this wasn't the gameplay that I got the load star on the map. But, you will enjoy the final kill cam, I'm sorry, I'm like all over the place right now. I really need to go to sleep, I should probably have already been asleep by now and uh, definitely woke up late after recording yesterday's commentaries but you know what are you gonna do um, that's the life of being a youtuber I gotta make sure I accomplish uh, all the goals I'd like to accomplish and I wanted to put out these new maps so people can get a look and uh, a different perspective not someone who is like one of the best players in the world and you're about to see the final kill cam there it is good times. Didn't realize it was sneaking up on me like that. It always happens. It always sneaks up on me. Um, usually rambling on about my nothingness that I usually ramble on about. So anywho, um, I guess this is Magma. It's a good map. It's fun. And uh, recommend it. So if you enjoyed it, please click like, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.